Hi, this is Heather from Strings and Threads. Uh, thank you for stopping by for this tutorial. This is the tutorial for the bass drum. These are the straps that will go over the shoulders. And then here are the drum sticks. So what you'll need for this tutorial, the standard scissors, um, yarn needle or darning needle. I am using a crochet hook, a 3.5 millimeter black medium weight yarn, white medium weight yarn, and just a little bit of stuffing, probably about this much, maybe slightly less. We'll see when I go to stuff it if I use this amount or not. We'll start by making the drum straps. So you'll need the black and you'll start by chaining four. You'll put one half double crochet in the second chain from the hook. So if you look carefully, here's the first chain from the hook. We're gonna skip that. Sorry, let me go back in. Go into the second chain from the hook and do a double half double crochet. And then we're gonna do a half double crochet in the last two chains for a total of three half double crochets. Okay, then we turn and chain one. One half double crochet in each stitch across. So that'll be three. And then we're going to just continue this pattern. When you get to the end of the row, you turn, chain one, or you could chain and turn one, whichever you like, would prefer and then keep building this up until it measures five inches long and it will look like this. This is sewn on a little bit down here, but yeah, here's where it ends. It goes all the way up to here. So you just wanna continue that three half double crochets turn, do another three half double crochets turn uh, until you reach five inches. Okay, when you complete the five inches, you can leave off with a tail, unless you're gonna be hot gluing then you can just finish. The tail is for sewing it on the drum later. And then you're gonna make a second one. All right, the next part we're gonna make is the actual drum head part, the white part here. So we're gonna make two of the next section. So get your white and we start by chaining two. One, two. Next, you put 10 half double crochets in the second chain from the hook. So the first one's right here. It's gonna be the first chain that you made. One, I will do two of them here, and then we can pause and finish putting 10 in, and then come back. All right, there's two of the 10. Just did the 10, we're going to attach to the first half double crochet with a slip stitch. Chain one, two half double crochets in each stitch around. I'll do the first two stitches with you, which will be four half double crochets. So there's two half double crochets in the first stitch, two half double crochets in the second stitch, Continue doing this all around and pause your video and we'll meet up when we're all the way around. Attach to first half double crochet with a slip stitch. Chain one. Two half double crochets in the first stitch. And then one half double crochet in the next stitch. We're gonna continue this pattern all the way around. I'll do the pattern one more time with you and then we'll pause and finish the round. So two in this stitch, one in the next. Continue with two in a stitch, one in a stitch, two in a stitch, one in a stitch until you get to the end of the round. Attach to the first half double crochet with a slip stitch. 
chain one, two half double crochets in the first stitch. one half double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So one in the next, one in the next. I'll show you the pattern one more time and then we're gonna continue it all the way around. Two half double crochets in one stitch, one in the next, one in the next. Continue that pattern all the way around Pause the video, continue that around, and then we'll meet up. Attach to the first half double crochet with a slip stitch. End with a tail. We use it for sewing. All right, we're gonna make a second circle. This is the first one. And on the set, I magically made a second one. <laughs> uh, when you make, after you make the second one, instead of leaving a tail, you're going to join with the black yarn. And we're going to, in the back loop only, do one half double crochet in each stitch around. I'm gonna show you on this. This is what was happening here. And then you're gonna do a total of six rows of the black here. So you're attaching it to this, like I did here, one half double crochet in the back loop only of each stitch and make a total of six rows here. And then come back when that's done. So here's how it looks when it's <clears throat> put together like that or when we finish all of those rows with the black yarn. <clears throat> now we'll take the stuffing. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. And you wanna stuff it pretty tight and take the first circle, the first white circle that you had that we put to the side and has a tail and thread it up. And also one or two stitches here and then we can pause while we both finish sewing around. So I'm sure you don't need to see me sewing stitches. So I'm kind of trying to imitate a front loop only. And I just go in the first part, like we did the back loop only here. And you can still see this. I'm trying for that same effect here, even though I'm sewing and not crocheting. I'll do one more stitch here. And then we can pause and finish sewing around and come back for the next step. So here's what it looks like when it's done. It's starting to look like the bass drum. Uh, you can see from my completed one that the next step will be to sew the straps on. And I wanted to show you what it looked like already completed and the way that you would attach them. Then these are shoulder straps that go around the band player's shoulders. So you could either hot glue them or sew them down. So here's how the drummer would wear. Let me put it up a little higher so you can see more of the band dude I was a little close there for the stitches so you're going to either hot glue or so I left a tail because I don't have hot glue right here sew them on here you would probably sew them up maybe one two three four four ish rows so you would sew this much and then leave the rest of the strap floppy and then you would sew the other strap on, or glue, same amount, about four rows, right next to it. And the final product will look like this. I know that in the black, it's hard to see where the sewing had taken place. It started here and went to here, so it's about four rows. 
and then the next step would be to attach it to your drummer either hot glue or so and you might want to if you're hot gluing maybe put a dab of hot glue here so that it sticks right on the stomach so the only thing we have left are the drumsticks. Drumsticks will look like this. They have a white tip and then black sticks. You can change the colors if you would like. I'm just going by what you typically see in a marching band. So we're going to start up here with the white. We'll start by chaining two. Put five single crochets in the second chain from the hook, which is actually the very first chain that you made. One, two, Attach to the first single crochet with a slip stitch. Chain one, put one single crochet in each stitch around, and then do another row of that same pattern. So from this step right here, you're going to do two rows of just one single crochet in each stitch. Let's do that and then join back up. Attach the second color and then chain one and put single crochet in each stitch around and add another eight rows after you can complete this one. So there'll be nine rows total of the second color, just one single crochet in each stitch around. I'll come back when that's completed. Here's how it looks completed. And you'll have two of them, so you will just either hot glue or sew them to your drummer's hands. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Please consider subscribing and leaving a comment if you have any questions. Thank you.